Can't be mad at the things you've been through because they built you. And welcome back to Inspired Overflow. I'm your host, Casey Star Triplet. I want to stay connected with you, so make sure you visit the website at www.inspiredoverflow.com. Also, connect with me, y'all, on Facebook and Twitter. I would love to just connect with you and get to know you over social media. Today's segment of the Inspired Overflow Radio Show is sponsored in part by Such a Lady Online Boutique. Check out Such a Lady Online Boutique for all your lap scarf and lady handkerchief needs. So be such a lady while you get your praise and your shout on every Sunday morning. Order beautiful custom lap scarves and handkerchiefs at www.suchalady.bigcartel.com. Today, our topic is the desires of your heart home ownership. We've been having a great time in the studio with Avis McHugh of Habitat for Humanity St. Louis and Habitat for Humanity homeowner and business owner, Miss Carla Reed. So um, Carla, before we went to break, we were hearing your story, really your testimony on how God has allowed you to become a Habitat uh, homeowner back in 2007. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mentioned right before we went to break that God also opened the door for you to be able to own your own business. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure, the process with Habitat taught me that anything that I want to have is attainable. And I may need to use a non-traditional route in order to get it, but it is still attainable. Um, In 2012, I was allowed to open a business called Elevated Men's Salon. Um, It is a barbershop that caters to the professional gentleman, offering precision haircuts, specializing in razor linings and hot towel treatments. We are located in the Central West End area at 625 North Euclid, Suite 160. And you can find us online at elevatedman.net. Amen. I love it. I love it. I love it because what you said was, I think, really powerful is that Habitat thought taught you, Habitat for Humanity taught you that anything was attainable. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing with God. You know, sometimes some issues, uh, they look like some obstacles, like there is no way that we're going to be able to overcome them. You know, they seem like giants. But when you are able to overcome that giant, you're like, that wasn't so bad. Now I can tackle this. Yes, exactly. (laughs) And so that's what Inspired Overflow is all about. We're here promoting this show, letting you know that if home ownership is a desire of your heart, it's attainable with God. The word of God says, well, Jesus said nothing is impossible with him. He said all things are possible with him. And so we are just hopefully uh, our desire is to elevate your faith inspired over full listeners to know that home ownership is possible. Habitat for Humanity is one option um, to be able to help you. So if you want to be blessed like Carla, amen, uh, give Habitat for Humanity a call. Um, go through the application process um, because they are currently looking for new homeowners for homes in the city and in the county. Um, Avis, I, I want to go to you because there there's a, a new program that you guys are launching for veterans. Mm-hmm. Tell us about that. Yes, we are really excited about this. Um, we are starting a program where we will be working specifically with veterans to either a help them become homeowners or do rehab work in a house that they are currently living in. So please give us a call. Uh, if there's any work that you need done, it could be a ramp put in. It could be some electrical issues, plumbing issue, issues, maybe something with the roof. Um, it's a wide variety of rehab work that we can do. And there is $15,000 per project set aside that we would uh, be able to use to do the rehab work. And what we would ask in return is sweat equity. So um, it is a very simple application process uh, and we are definitely looking for veterans right now. So if you are a veteran or if you know of a veteran, please contact Habitat 314-371-0400 so that we can get you connected with this grant program. And so I just want to follow up on this uh, great program for veterans. So um, all veterans who qualify, they'll they'll receive $15,000 toward the, the new home or rehab. Is that forgivable? Do they have to pay that money back? They do not make a financial payment. What they would pay in return is their volunteer hours. Amen. Yes. Yeah, so it's $15,000, and we would actually have contractors come in and do the work. So it's not even that they have to worry about that. Awesome. Um, Let's go through a little bit about the eligibility again um, to be able to qualify for Habitat for Humanity Home. Just run us through that process. Okay. So the first one is that you have to have um, decent credit. So we're looking for somebody that um, 
doesn't have a lot of late pays or slow pays. And again, if that is your current state, that is fine. Still, please apply and we will work with you to get you where you need to be. The term that we use is bankable. So we'll get you to the point of being bankable. Uh, People that have lived in the St. Louis City area for at least one year and are interested in settling down and living in the St. Louis area. Uh, And then people that are interested in being out on the construction site, you have to be willing to come out and help us build the house that you would purchase and live in. Amen. Amen. Um, You know, one of the things, Avis, and I mentioned earlier um, that you are a member of Central uh, Baptist Church, but you also go and talk to different churches. You want to get out and and talk to churches. How can individuals get in contact with you if they want to connect and bring you to speak to their ministry or church organization? Yes, I would love to do that. Uh, You can call the main number, the 371-0400, Three seven one zero four hundred, or you can send me an email at avis at habitatstl.org. Avis, A-V-I-S, at habitatstl.org. I love to come out. Awesome. We're going to go to our phone lines right now. Thank you so much for holding and calling the Inspired Overflow Radio Show. What's your question, comment, or prayer request? Yes, I would like to know. I know a lot of people are in bankruptcy states right now. Does the Habitat for Humanity program work with someone perhaps that's in a Chapter 13 in which they would have to obtain um, uh, uh, permission from the judge to, you know, to purchase a home? Also, my prayer prayer request is that the Lord will bless me, just open up the windows of heaven and just bless me with my needs and my wants. Amen. Go ahead, Avis, and answer that question, please. Uh, As far as the bankruptcy, what we look for is that it has been at least three years on a bankruptcy. But if you have not gotten to that point yet, please reach out to us, and then we can kind of coach you through that and let you what let you know what steps you need to take uh, and where you need to stay so that you will be ready to go as soon as that time is passed. Amen. So let's just bow our heads uh, very quickly and pray for that caller. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for who you are, God. Lord, the woman of God prayed for overflow, God, that you will bless her with each and every need that she has. Lord, your word says, God, that you will bless us according to your riches and glory, God, that you will provide for every need, Lord. God, your word also talks about that when we delight in you, you give us the desires of our hearts. I pray, Lord, for the woman of God, Lord, that her will, God, will be your will. And God, because her will is your will, God, that you will meet every every need, dear God, you will meet every desire in her life, God. We pray, God, that you will come in and clean up any areas in her life that need to be cleaned up, God. Any issues, God, from the past, financial mistakes, blunders, missteps, God, clean them up, God. Give her a strategy, Lord. So what she needs to do, God, in the natural, dear Lord, so you can bless her and so she can be in the land of overflow, God. I thank you for giving her the endurance, the stamina, the strength, and the faith to move forward forward. God is in your precious son's name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling inspired overflow listeners. Our lines are still open. If you have a question for our guest, Carla Reed, who is a business owner and also a habitat homeowner. She's here. And also Avis McHugh uh, with habitat for humanity. You can reach us at nine, six, nine, uh, six nine zero zero. Now, Avis, I understand there are a couple of events taking place to support Habitat for Humanity right here in St. Louis. Can you let us know about those events? Yes. The first one is going to be bartending for a charity, and that is on Wednesday, September the 10th from 6 to 9 at the Wildflower. And our guest bartender will be our own CEO, Kimberly McKinney. Woo-hoo! So please, yes. So please come out and support uh, Habitat and give Kimberly a hard time about her bartending <laughs> skills. Uh, the second one is going to be Habitat Night at Melt which is an upscale cafe and lounge, and that will be held on Thursday, September the 18th from 5 until 11. And 15% of each sales will go back toward Habitat to help us continue to build houses for families and make an impact on the St. Louis community. Sure. And Carla, I understand that you have a a networking event coming up. So let us know about that event that's taking place. Sure. I have a networking event that will be held this evening. It will be held at the Premier Lounge located at 5969 Martin Luther King. Um, And our mission with that is to share business secrets, um, 
stories of success and resources. We will have Grace Hill uh, Women's Business Center business counselors there to answer questions. And we will have legal services of Eastern Missouri there, their community economic department that gives free business, free legal services for all startup businesses and nonprofits. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So there are a lot of things that are taking place. Uh, we're going to go to our phone lines. Our phone lines are just ringing off the hook. I mean, and that's good because that means that you guys want to get this information and take advantage, really, of what God is doing in our region. So if we can, we are going to go to our phone lines at this time to get our caller who has been holding Okay, thank you so much for calling in to the Inspired Overflow radio show. What's your question, comment, or prayer request? Caller, are you there? Oh, hello. Yes, you're live on the air. Hello. Awesome. Thank you so much um, for providing the information. Um, Regarding the eligibility, is there an income cap or a limit? Like, is there, like, can you not make over a certain amount of money to qualify? There are income guidelines, and if you go to our website, it has it broken down by the number of people in your family. Um, but on average, it's about 15000 for a family of one, and then the max would be 70000 for a family of eight. So if you check their website, it's habitatstl.org. Or if you don't have access to a computer, if you call the office, 371-0400, they'll be able to give you those specific numbers. Excellent okay. question. Can I have one more question? Can sure. I ask one more question? Absolutely. Um, regarding the grant um, that's available for veterans, is there like um, an age of a veteran? Like I know a veteran, but like she's in her 30s. Could she possibly be able to apply to get some work done on her on her home? Absolutely. There okay. are no limitations on the veteran program. Okay, and then what about income level as well? Does that does that you know um, also take in you know effect with that? We will look at. It doesn't have to be exactly the same for a home ownership program, but we will look at the income and then determine uh, depending on how many applications we get, who is in more need, and also would be based on the uh, pacific, the specific job that they would need to be done. Oh, cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling in to the Inspired Overflow radio show. Well, it looks like this has been a a very busy show. Um, I know that uh, Hernandez, who's been working the phone lines for us behind the scenes, he's been busy. Inspired Overflow listeners, you guys have been calling in, which is I think is awesome. Um, Avis, what I'm going to do is ask for you to give out the number to Habitat for Humanity one more time. Okay. The number is 314-371-0400, 314-371-0400, and the website is habitatstl.org. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you, Avis McHugh with Habitat for Humanity St. Louis and also Habitat Humanity homeowner, Miss Carla Reed, and also owner of Elevated Men's Salon. Thank you so much for joining us here at the Inspired Overflow Radio Show. We also want to thank the, the board and the staff of Habitat for Humanity St. Louis for all the great work that you guys are doing in the community. Inspired Overflow listeners, we want to make sure that we go out and we support Carla's business. So the Elevated Elevated Men's Salon, located at 625 North Euclid, Suite 160. So men, we want you to go by there. Go on Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, they offer $10 haircuts. And ladies, let's support Carla. So we're going to send our brothers, our husbands, our uncles, our pastors. We'll send them by to Carla's um, Elevated Men's Salon. It's really more than just a barbershop. It is. You know, it's a luxury service. So I want to give a special thank you to Habitat for Humanity for partnering with us here on the Inspired Overflow radio show to make this show possible. Also, we want to thank our other sponsors, including eGraphics, graphics design company, Donna's Restoration Diner and Community Outreach Center, along with the Civil Rights Enforcement Agency of St. Louis. 
Here at Inspired Overflow, we appreciate community collaborators. It's easier to do the work of God, amen, when we all work together. Now, if you're listening to Inspired Overflow Radio, we never want to take for granted that you know the Lord and that you've accepted the Lord as your Lord and Savior. If you have not accepted the Lord as your personal Savior, it can be really difficult to even imagine having the desires of your heart met. But when you know God and when you know him for yourself, you know that he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly all that you could ever ask or think. We want to offer this opportunity for you to accept Jesus Christ in your heart if you haven't already. It's really easy. All you have to do is repeat after me and say this heartfelt prayer. And it goes with, Dear Lord, I admit that I am a sinner. I have done many things that don't please you. I have lived my life for myself. I am sorry and I repent. I ask that you forgive me. I believe that you died on the cross to save me. You did what I could not do for myself. I come to you now and I ask you to take control of my life. I ask that you enter into my heart and I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. If you've said this prayer for the first time, you've accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you are now saved. What we want to do here at the Inspired Overflow Radio Show is to encourage you to get into a good church that preaches the Bible and teaches the Bible. We want you to get rooted and equipped and uh, just prepared, amen, and strengthened in the word of God so you can go out and do the work of the Lord. We've just been declaring and decreeing the spirit of salvation to take place in this region. I truly believe that God wants to do something amazing and powerful in our community, and it begins with having a relationship with the Lord. So Inspired Overflow listeners, once again, I thank you so much for joining us. I thank our guests for joining us. Please continue to pray for this ministry. Know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Have a great rest of the week and walk in the overflow.